Welcome back. Now, after the aviation body, DGCA issued a show cause notice to private carrier SpiceJet as it reported eight malfunctions in 18 days. The carrier has now responded. In a statement, SpiceJet says that they are committed to ensuring a safe operation of their passengers and crew. The airlines added that they have been regularly audited by the DGCA and all their aircraft were found to be safe by the regulator last month. Response comes after DGCA notice where the aviation body had said that the carrier had failed to establish safe, efficient and reliable air services. Taking note of these uh, recent incidents as well, Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya asserted that passenger safety was paramount and even a small error hindering passenger safety would be thoroughly probed. This is, in fact, a response coming in from SpiceJet. Just about two hours ago, we had broken the information about how DGC had sent a show cause notice to SpiceJet in the wake of the series of incidents that have been happening in SpiceJet aircraft, where they have been given three weeks to respond. And now SpiceJet has, in its first statement, responded to that notice, saying that it is in receipt of the DGC notice and will be responding within the specific time period. SpiceJet also goes on to say that we are committed to ensuring a safe operation for our passengers and crew. We are an IATA IOSA certified airline. SpiceJet successfully completed the meticulous audit program for recertification in October 2021. We have been regularly audited by DGCA. All our aircraft were audited a month ago by the regulator and found to be safe. All flights of SpiceJet are conducted in compliance with the applicable regulations of the DGCA civil aviation regulations on the subject. So that's as far as SpiceJet is concerned. But yes, as we had broken earlier, the DGCA notice was quite scathing. It has noticed that, uh, that despite the fact that in September 21, there was a financial audit that was in fact conducted. Uh, there was, of course, a finding of the DGCA that the airline was on cash and carry basis, and this was affecting the supplies as far as spares are concerned. Meanwhile, a Delhi-bound Vistara flight, which flew from Bangkok, developed a minor electrical malfunction after landing at the IGI airport. According to the authorities, the plane was towed from the taxi bay to the parking bay. The Bangkok-Delhi Vistara flight landed at the airport on a single engine. However, all the passengers were safe, but the matter has been reported to the DGCA. There was, in fact, an engine failure, but yes, let me, uh, in fact, uh, just be a little bit more specific over here because it was not a mid-air flight in which this engine failure happened. Let me be very specific that this happened shortly after the uh, landing and it had just exited the runway, was in the taxiway area. It's in that area that engine 2 was shut down and that the engine 1 reportedly had an engine failure. This is what sources in the DGCA are indicating to us. And following that, in fact, the aircraft had to be taxied uh, or rather towed away the taxiway to the parking bay area of the airport. This was in Delhi airport where in fact this flight had landed and it was not mid-air. Let me make that very specific. But nevertheless, a very important incident. The DGC is looking into this entire incident and of course, uh, uh, Vistara itself has put out a statement and I just want to very quickly read that out saying that after landing in Delhi while taxiing to the parking bay, a flight UK122 had a minor electrical malfunction on 5th of July 2022. Keeping passenger safety and comfort in mind, the crew elected to tow the aircraft to the bay. Well, let's bring in an expert here. Sarosh Damania, aviation lawyer, is joining us on the broadcast. Thank you very much, Mr. Damania, for joining us. Uh, we're seeing a slew of these kind of incidents. Uh, yes, they're technical glitches and have not resulted in any, you know, great uh, safety issues at this point in time. But nonetheless, there are too many of these incidents. SpiceJet especially has seen eight such incidents and now even an incident being reported by Vistara as well. What is your own uh, reaction? See, the Indian aviation scenario was, of course, after the COVID, it is a boom back, coming back, everything is regularizing, flights are increasing. But what has happened is, a lot of aircrafts during these COVID times were in storage. So there was maybe not maintenance or these aircrafts were not stored properly or there must be some issues. So when they have come back, now airline like SpiceJet, which is, of course, a low-cost carrier today, it's struggling with funds. So it could be they are trying, maybe maybe they are just meeting, they, as their statement says that they are in compliance, but they might be just on the edge of the compliance. Maybe just they are doing what is necessary to just pass off. That is what's not required. Today in times, passenger safety is also utmost thing an airline should look into. Because the passengers, when they are flying with them, are the responsibility of the airline. Today, having six incidents in maybe less than 15 days it cuts a very poor picture. Now, tomorrow, if I want to fly an airline, of course, it will say volumes about which airlines should I select because of safety concerns. And the DGCA also is coming up now. DGCA also should have taken proactive steps at earlier times only. When the first incident happened, 
the dg should itself have conducted a detailed inquiry now after so many multiple incidents today dg has come into action and today now it's asking answers that why is this incident happening of course spice jet is answerable spice jet should answer to them because they are the safety regulator and it is the dg says responsibility but the aircraft maintenance is what we are seeing here today is that is of course that is a background thing which the passengers don't see right. up front right but that is a very important aspect of any a- aviation yes airline. and just on that point uh, sarosh you know because the spice jet statement very clearly says that just a month ago the uh, regulator inspected the aircraft and every all the safety inspection was done and everything was found to be in order so obviously there is something going wrong here either the aircraft uh, the airlines are not managing this properly or or there is some communication gap Maybe. that may be the case now passing the dgca test was one month back within one month of see aircraft maintenance is a daily activity every aircraft is flown on multiple flights in a day so for them they want the aircraft to be maximum time in the air that is how the airlines make money so the same aircraft is maybe flying five flights or 10 flights a day so maybe they are over stretching their fleet maybe they are trying to fly the aircraft maybe 10 times or 15 times which is and they don't have time for maintenance because there is every day there has to be a certain time that has to be dedicated for maintenance of aircraft maybe they are cutting corners over there they want higher rotations to maybe earn more money that could be the reason why the flight uh, the aircraft is not properly maintained because mm. all the safety hc which come up with it depends of course the recent incident with the spice jet aircraft also ran, landing in karachi of a engine failure that was also of course uh, the uh, 787 the uh, 737 max aircraft which is a new aircraft now why is something happening to a new aircraft also that is it ask question that there is some issue with the maintenance the airline has to come up with something they have to sort this out otherwise they are going to be in deep trouble yes absolutely and sarosh you know obviously the question comes that so far these have been minor glitches uh, there has been no major issue at, at that this point in time from all the incidents that we've seen in the recent past uh, are we then just waiting for something big to happen before this is actually taken seriously Yeah, that's absolutely right i concur with you that there has to be some major because these small small things because these aircrafts are traveling at very high speed a little one nut missing from the aircraft or so landing or maybe a landing gear not opening or um, today what is happening is we have seen multiple cases wherein one engine air is failing what happens if both the engines fail in a case it is going to be a issue and of course that is a qu- question with the dg say should ask the airline then the airlines should uh, up their game maybe in passenger safety and maintenance because without there being proper maintained aircrafts in the air it is a very risky thing to fly yes absolutely in fact uh, sarosh do stay on with us uh, as we are talking about this there is one more incident that's being reported uh, at this point in time